Hello my friends, this is Viorel and in this lesson we will learn a very interesting Power Query technique that uh, helps you transform the data from the left table into the right table. This is called a pivoting stacked data. So what is all about? Our data is bank transactions. We have in the same column multiple transactions split it by a row okay so we want to transform it into this nice table we will use power query in excel but the identical method will be in power bi so let's start transforming it so we go to data from table range first we will use first row as header it will be called bank transactions so let's think about this structure we have the transactions the first row is the date then is the card number and then is the transaction data okay and then is the amount and after it we have a empty row so after each five rows the transactions repeat whenever you have this kind of structure you can use this technique first we will add a column with an index index starting with zero and then let's think we have these five rows that are repeated maybe we could add another column where we just divide the index to 5. So add column standard divide integer. It asks to divide by what? By 5. And you see now we have 0 first 5 rows, 1, the second 5, and so on. So now we have created like an index for each transactions okay and now let's see what we could do maybe we can divide the index with modulo transform standard modulo modulo 5 so what is, is the modulo division it divides by a number, in our case 5, and it results only the remaining after the integer division. Okay? Remaining 0, 1, 2, 4, and then it repeated. And now we have like an internal index for each transaction. Okay? 0 is the date, 1 is the car number, and so on. So now things start to make sense maybe now we can pivot the index column we go to transform pivot column we want to use the values in the bank transactions column and in advanced options we do not want to aggregate don't aggregate and now magic happened we have our data in a nice table format okay and now we can start to remove the columns that we do not need okay and name the columns and so on so this is a technique that is very useful whenever you have this kind of stacked column data you can use the integer division and the modulo division after you first add an index column and you can solve this kind of situation I hope you like this video, please like and subscribe, thank you.